All right, they're part of our family, our pets, and boy, cooking for them, getting ready, feeding them the right thing, it all matters. And here to talk about food preparation and feeding our dogs specifically, uh, we're talking about uh, some healthy alternatives as well, mm -hmm. right? So we're talking Dr. Shabi, thanks for coming on in. Thank you. And Sean Buckley, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. So at Just Food for Dogs, what we're really trying to do is make dogs live longer, healthier lives. And what we've discovered is that they really shouldn't be eating anything out of a can or a bag. And despite what you may have heard, ironically maybe, you can make their food at home as long as you do it the right way and it's nutritionally balanced for them. Good, good, and it all looks delicious actually, very healthy. Let's get started, Absolutely. you're gonna show us a nice recipe we can do at home. Absolutely, yeah, today we're gonna prepare our beef and russet potato recipe. Okay. So some of the ingredients um, that we're using, uh, well actually all of the ingredients come from your local market. So first we're starting with beef. Um, it's a great source of protein. Um, it's, it's really palatable for dogs. Has mm -hmm. a good source of fat and again protein. Um, the next that we're adding to this, which is uh, very nutritious for our pets, is beef liver. Oh. So, this is a great source of vitamin A as great. well as zinc and copper. So, very nutritious. Okay. We also have um, some of our vegetables and produce here. So, next we're going to add carrots. And it's important uh -huh. to cook this stuff down as well. You know, sometimes Absolutely. you can give them as a treat, carrots. But Absolutely, yeah. So what you want to do is make sure that you're cooking all of these foods, um, one, so that they're safe to eat, but also by cooking those vegetables, it helps start the breakdown process, and okay. it makes those things easier for your dog to digest, um, extra nutritious for them, so they get to take advantage of the real food that you're feeding Great. them. Great, okay. Uh -huh. well, we also have peas and green mm. beans here. And green Great. beans, too. Perfect. Absolutely, yeah. So what we're doing is trying to get the most nutrition that we can okay. from these real whole food ingredients. Nice. So by combining the different vegetables with the protein, um, we maximize the benefit of all that? Of that. These are the green beans. The green yeah, they're beans. just uh -huh. chopped. We yeah. try to chop it. them okay. up smaller so that oh, they're, they're, their bite size okay. um, makes it easier for them to eat. Do you have apples? Yeah, absolutely. So these are green <laughs> apples. What you want to be um, cautious to do when you're serving your dog apples is make sure you take out the core and the seeds. Oh, right. Those um, aren't very good for your dog, but the, the apples themselves are wonderful and okay. you do want to cook those apples as well. Can you use re any kind of apple? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Just core them and, and take out the seeds. Perfect. Um, and then as you're cooking, uh, you know, the, the meat will begin cooking and browning um, and then you're adding all these vegetables as you go. And then the last thing we're going to do is our potatoes here. Ah, uh, right. These are a great source of potassium, so very nutritious for your dog. Looks good. I would eat that. That looks great. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, that's sort of the point, Craig, is that all of this is real food. It's all USDA certified ingredients mm -hmm. for humans, mm -hmm. but what we're going to do is we're going to nutritionally balance it for dogs. Okay. And this is an interesting point. Almost any concoction uh, of food uh, w would not reach nutrition uh, balance for dogs mm -hmm. unless you add a supplementation. Okay. Right. So and we're going to add that supplementation. So that would be our next step here. So we've got a specific blend of vitamins and minerals that is going to balance the ingredients here. Great. So once you're done preparing your food, you sprinkle that in there. Oh, just and that like little a little bit of magic. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of magic. Yeah. Just like your multivitamin. It makes Great. it makes all the difference in the world. And the other thing that I think is really important for people to know is sometimes people will say, oh, I don't even make dinner for my family every night. Who has time? This is something you're going to make once a month. Oh, right. You can prepare and you it just, for the Absolutely. Yes. Oh, and good. then you're going to okay. put it in Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer. Oh, perfect. So you're only okay. going to do it once a month. Good. Do it in a big pot, depending on the size of your dog. And there are some things you want to avoid as well. Absolutely. Feeding these healthy, nutritious things can help change your dog dog's life um, in a positive way, mm -hmm. but some of these ingredients here can be toxic, and yeah. we want to make sure that you avoid those. So um, I've got here mixed nuts. Okay. So while not all nuts are toxic or dangerous to right. dogs, some can be. Okay. So especially with the holidays coming up, I just suggest everybody avoid nuts. Okay. Make sure your dogs don't get a hold Good of call. any nuts. Um, second here, we have coffee beans. Right. So most people know that chocolate, uh, chocolate can be toxic to pets, mm -hmm. um, but coffee beans have the same exact chemical okay. as chocolate. It's ah. just even more potent. So so you want to be cautious to make sure your dogs avoid the coffee beans. Okay. Um, next up is raisins. Mm. So we, we all again know that grapes right. um, can be toxic for dogs. So therefore raisins Makes um, sense. as well. So okay. that can cause kidney, kidney damage okay. and we want to make sure to avoid those. Um, what I've got here is cinnamon. Right. So in our food here, we do not add any sort of spices or seasonings. Okay. While you and I find that really palatable <laughs> sure. and tasty, um, for our pets, some of those things like cinnamon can really cause some GI upset, mm. some tummy tummy um, upset. So we want to make sure that we avoid that. Okay. Um, trust me, they will good, love good. this. Especially is, with the holiday, you're seeing this all that. over the place. Exactly. Right. So right. avoid right. the extra seasonings. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. So, yeah. And it's, I mean, people can eat this. Yeah. yeah so yeah, we are. We're going to try it. Yeah. So, we're going to have some right now. <laughs> once everything's for cooked breakfast. and prepared, this is what the 
um, the end result is going Beautiful. to be. So we're going to try really this. Good. This is our beef and russet potato. Okay. Wow, so, these are great little bowls. And then we'll then we'll give yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll sure. give here you go. Then we'll give some to the dogs. Okay, okay you got that. I'll grab yeah, this one. Yours. And yeah, we got to try it with the dogs too, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's okay, just I'm, bland. I'm going in. I'm it's just it. bland. It's great. It's yeah. Beautiful, actually. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mmm. It's it good. Needs, mm. It needs salt. It is good. Mm, I, I right. didn't put salt on anything, so this is perfect for me. Oh, you love <laughs> it. See? Okay, Pretty so it's perfect. healthier than we do. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. What dogs? We don't need dogs. No. Okay. <laughs> this is all for me. Yeah, uh, let's let's taste it. Well, let's give it the dogs a taste. Okay. Let's see yeah. what they think. Serve yeah, let's up. give them a treat. Oh, how is that? It's, like a, it's like a race. Oh, wow. That's so good, right? <laughs> yeah. I love it. A junior, for pound for pound, I think Junior is winning. winning. I see a little tail wagging, too. Come on, girls. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, they love it. Go Nala. Okay, great. So if anybody wants more information, go to our website, kcal.com. You can click Scene on TV. Boy, they love this. Yeah. Oh, yeah.